swivel. All right, we reached Cougar. Uh, this is the an interesting town. I always love to to stop here and uh, check this out, but they've got a bunch of cool Bigfoot carvings here. Some some stumps. Uh, there's some epic gemstone carving. That's new. And you do mine them here. And like I said, I'd, I really like to stop here. The, the restaurant's pretty good. If you guys ever come here, they're... Uh, tour bus. I guess this is a joke. I always think this is a shame. I think they should uh, give some tours up there. I think they they could hear some uh, stuff on a regular basis. Maybe not every night, but quite often. This one, this guy's actually new here. This is their newest carving. And he, and he talks. So th this is the uh, little store behind us, and we're about, that's the, the store, we're about maybe 20, 30 minutes out from the hike we're going to try to do. So we're on the uh, Curly Creek, we're back looking for that waterfall. This is a little weird alcove uh, here. In this cliff face you have to follow this path around i'm not sure how far we can go but we're going to try to reach that curly creek falls this way i saw i saw pictures of people doing it so it is definitely possible that is the path that we followed there uh the the boys aren't convinced that that wasn't just a game trail but to me, it seemed like more than a game trail. We got to the base of Curly Creek Falls. Those are the arches. And I think I, we found a way to get up there. I, the boys didn't seem very uh, excited about it. But here's a, a skull fragment we found down here. And... Uh, I mean, just a magical area. Like, look at all this moss, caves, everything else. And there's actually another waterfall on the other side. I'm pretty sure we can get to it on that point. So, we might try to check that out, too. Huh? What is it? It's a skull piece. Oh, what, what, what is it? Right in, look out. Here's the view from the other side of that little creek. I mean, here you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the uh, twin bridges here. Um, there's like two arches up there. And I think you could hike up there and climb across them if you're braver than me. Here, here we are. This is called Curly Creek. Like, this stuff's wild. Tell me that doesn't look like a freaking skull face with some water running through its mouth right now. Am I tripping? What do you think? This stuff's tight out here. Uh, one other thing. Uh, we got back from the adventure. I'm back at home. Uh, that's a long drive for that hike. I mean, that waterfall was beautiful. It was really cool. But my gosh, was that just such a long drive. But one uh, cool thing, uh, if you guys are familiar with that area uh, around Cougar, we went to the uh, um, Eagle Creek uh, little store there. There's a little camp store. And uh, there's a guy that works there. His name is Mo, And he's a huge rock hound. And uh, I was wearing a... Uh, agate necklace that uh, Joe had made me and uh, Joe and I had some interactions with him on that last trip but I went back I want to show you guys uh, the rocks that he uh, had collected and sold me for $20 uh, 
Uh, he also gave Joe some great rocks for $20. So if you guys are rock hounds, you're in that Eagle Creek area, you know, stop by that store, ask for Mo. He's a great guy. He'll give you some great deals. But uh, I wanted to show you guys some of these. So. so he gave me this one uh, on our first trip. He said that this one was uh, petrified wood. I forget what kind he, he said that. But that one's pretty cool. He also said, gave me uh, this piece. It's like a little cut piece of a, uh, I'm trying to get this focused, of uh, petrified wood. And then uh, most of these I got from him today, but um, here's like a an agate. You can kind of, uh, let me see, get this focused. I'm still working on this new camera. So you can kind of see through the light there, but pretty cool piece. Um, some other different cool crystals and uh, agate chunks here. So, you know, I am a fan. Here's another little petrified wood piece that he had found. And, uh, you know, I am a fan of uh, rock hounding. I like to find different rocks and gems and wherever I go. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of buying them, but you know, sometimes uh, if, if <laughs> I'm in a weird situation and you know, at a, a random campground and I meet a person with some interesting rocks, you know, I'm not above uh, buying them and enjoying. That one's pretty cool. And like this one had some like uh purples in it here if you hold it up to the light and these are much better um in the sun these uh different agate chunks so hot tip there um if you are a rock hound give them a, a check out give them a shout out ask for mo